to see all the ponies looking up at him. Greenleaf then said, Everyone, you are free to go and return to Cloudsdale. The ponies then started running out the doors towards the exits of the Rainbow Factory. Dr. Atmosphere then busted into the upper platform and started asking questions. What's going on here? Why are the, the ponies escaping and not being slaughtered to make wonderful rainbows? And why are there two rainbow dashes? He asked. Greenleaf then used his magic to cause a zipper to appear over Dr. Atmosphere's mouth and zipped it closed. Greenleaf then said, by the orders of Princess Celestia, this operation is to cease at once. Dr. Atmosphere unzipped his mouth and asked, what? Greenleaf replied, you're being arrested and this place is being shut down. Dr. Atmosphere then replied, but who will make the rainbows? Greenleaf told him, relax. A small version of the old system that gets them from the sun will be established. This place will be cleaned and all signs of the torture that occurred here will be removed. Once that is done, the larger original system will be installed. Greenleaf then re-zipped Dr. Atmosphere's mouth and put a spell on him. After he put the spell on Dr. Atmosphere, he told him, You get too far from me, or even think about trying anything funny, that spell will make you as stiff as a statue. Dr. At Sorry? Dr. Atmosphere looked at the ground with sadness. Greenleaf then said, Alright, let's get out of here and up to Canterlot. We can find out what Princess Celestia wants to do with these two here. Here. Change that. Greenleaf and Rainbow Dash then grabbed Annie Dash and proceeded to lift her out of the hole through which they entered. The rest of the main seven followed. Fluttershy flying behind Greenleaf and Rainbow Dash. Rarity and Applejack riding on a platform that was made up of magic. Made with magic. Sorry. And Twilight on another platform with Dr. Atmosphere. Up in Canterlot, we see Twilight and Greenleaf sitting in front of Princess Celestia, with Annie Dash still frozen in the middle of them, the rest of the main seven behind them. We could already figure that Dr. Atmosphere was placed in his cell until he was told his punishment. Princess Celestia looked out at Annie Dash and began to speak. Annie Dash, for your crimes against all of Pony Kind and committing an act so heinous, I have only the option but to banish you to the moon and to be petrified into stone in the moon's center. Annie Dash's eyes grew wide. Princess Celestia then looked towards Greenleaf, Twilight, and the rest of the Maid Seven and said, You are to use the elements of harmony to petrify her, the same as you did with Discord. All the ponies nodded and retrieved their headpieces and necklaces from the vault where they were stored. Temporary story stop. Okay, as you can already see, if you can see any of this, uh, Greenleaf wears a headpiece, same as Twilight, and a uh, Greenleaf symbol on the headpiece is an emerald, same as this cutie mark. Headpiece is the lost seventh element of harmony charm. Greenleaf's power is equal to Twilight's, his magic power. Okay. Before departing, Princess Celestia told them, I look forward to your report that she is successfully sealed. After putting on air helmets, Twilight and Greenleaf use their magic to per transport themselves, Annie Dash, and the main seven to the moon. What's on the moon? Greenleaf asked, Everyone ready? Everyone nodded in the green. And Greenleaf and Twilight said together, Formation. Everyone got into the formation to use the elements of harmony. Greenleaf standing beside Twilight, Maid 7. Standing in their correct positions. Maid 7 standing in their correct position. Then using the elements of harmony, they petrified Annie Dash. Once they were done, Greenleaf said, Now then, all that's left to do is put her in the center of the moon. Using their magic again, Twilight and Greenleaf teleported themselves along with the now petrified Annie to a small chamber inside the moon, where she was teleported into the wall. Twilight and Greenleaf then teleported back to the surface, and then with the rest of the main, main seven, teleported back to Canterlot. Once there, Greenleaf said, One last thing to do. Applejack then asked, What could there be left to do? Twilight replied, Make sure Annie doesn't return, should she break out of the petrification. Don't forget, Discord was able to do it. Who's to say Auntie won't be able to? Princess Celestia then said, Lousy. Twilight, Greenleaf, stand on those two platforms. Princess Celestia pointed toward two stone platforms. Princess Celestia, Twilight, and Greenleaf's horns began to glow. They then blasted out an energy which converged into one beam and headed towards the moon. Looking at the moon's surface, we see the beam change to a barrier that surrounds the entire moon, and then disappears. Princess Celestia then says, There we go. Scootaloo then asked, Wait, what did that just do? 
Greenleaf replied, It put up a magical barrier around the moon. That way, even if Annie Dash breaks out of her petrification, she won't be able to leave the moon and will most likely die in the vacuum of space. But won't you just charge at it and break out? And break it? Well, break out, break it. Potato, potato. Scootaloo asked. Greenleaf replied, Not even a double sonic ray boob could break through that magic barrier. Scootaloo breathed a sigh of relief and said, Thank goodness this nightmare is over. Greenleaf nodded his head and said, Yeah. Yeah. Aftermath. Scootaloo told her story of how corrupt the Rainbow Factory was and of her bravery in facing Annie Dash, as well as her rescue by the Maid Seven. By Princess Celestia's orders, the Cloudsdale flight test rules were changed so that those who failed were permitted to study and take the test again. All those who were involved in the Rainbow Factory operation were jailed, and the second floor of the factory shut down and replaced by the old method, taking the specter from the sun and converting old and discolored rainbows into new ones. The ponies that had been killed had their families notified. But what about Annie Dash, you ask? Well, I assure you, she will be back. Alrighty, thanks everyone. I already said this in the, uh audio recording, but, you know, none of you heard it, because something's messed up, or I'm a moron. But anyway, just thanks for watching slash listening. Um, I can assure you there'll be more to come once I finish my other stories. Um, basically, leave some good comments.